<laughs> well, I'm I'm Jake Waits, and I'm the I do it all pretty much, I guess. I mean, I help clean dishes, I help prep the meat. I mainly prep the meat and uh, help just tie everything together pretty much. I'm Dana Meadows. Uh, I, I pretty much do do the ribs, and uh, here lately we ain't done very good. I'm Clint Britton. <laughs> I guess you can say pit master, uh, build the boxes, try to put everything together, you know, buy the meat, stuff like that. But all in all, we all three do pretty much everything. Last year here in Tunnel, we did uh, Grand Champion, first place pork, first place loin, and first place ribs. So we swept it. We were only the second team in GBA history to ever sweep that event. Years ago, it's five or six years ago, we started doing just what's called backyard competitions. That's just where you're not cooking against the pro division. You're just kind of cooking against people that just do it on the weekends and stuff. And then it went from there to cooking a couple of pro contests and doing pretty good in them and then to trying to run points for team of the year in the GBA. We've been doing that the last couple of years. <laughs> and the reason we love to do it is to compete. I mean, we both competed in sports and everything else all through high school. It ain't sports, but you're still out there to beat the next fellow, you know. This is injection. It's got uh, a few things in it. It's, uh, apple juice, vinegar, a little hot sauce, a few other things that uh, we're not going to say. But If you overcook a loin by five degrees, it's, it's done. You know, it took me and him forever to figure out the internal temperature that a judge is looking for because if it cooks too long you'll think it's tender but actually the judges think it's mushy if it don't cook long enough then it's tough so it's that perfect internal temperature it took us a while to figure that out I say that yes we do barbecue competitions but I do not eat the barbecue I am a vegetarian. <laughs> You're a vegetarian? Really? Oh, I know. I'm a great kid. When you meet somebody with the light so much, you still got a soul. And it don't mean that you got no rhythm if you don't like rock and roll. But if you taste like pine, you like cider, not wine, then you better give it a thing to do. It's getting pretty good old bands in the jungle Perfect. band music. And the miss them on barbecue. Barbecue. The it's mashed here. I swear that never fails. And the sauce color meat's just as amber. If you ever get it under your name. All right. All right. Two and a half hours. Well, you maybe you know what we did last year. I got Larry. You still got some in a river full of fun. And you always have a song to sing. So get the hand on the days we're going to replace it with a grin. With a pretty girl dancing to joke band music. And the mess of mama's barbecue. Barbecue. This mess beer. I swear that it never fails. And a soft mama makes you stay there forever if you dare to get it under your nails. So get the frown off your face. We're gonna replace it with a grin and a dream come true. With a pretty girl dancing to jug band music. And a mess of mama's barbecue. That's a pretty girl dancing to jug band music. And a mess of mama's barbecue. 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 Okay, my name is Ed Vesley. I'm a uh, Georgia Barbecue Association representative, okay, and a master judge. Uh, the Georgia Barbecue Association has roughly about 250 teams that compete throughout Georgia, and we're moving into uh, Florida. Uh, today we have 12 teams that are competing here. Uh, the problem is we have an additional five teams at a different meet in Milledgeville, so we would have had closer to 20 today. But... This is our preparation for a final tenderloin. You know, we always get final. Always. <laughs> What do you 
Judge, we judge on appearance of the product, okay, the tenderness, okay, the taste, and then the overall impression. Usually at a table we will have somewhere between four to six entries, and we have five judges at each entry uh, at each table to judge those entries. This one. Yes. Yes. And it just makes them a little bit more moist and uh, gives them that shiny look. Can I have the uh, pit master out here? Uh, uh, yes, sir. The top three teams in the first category, final one. We all get a second box, and uh, here in a few minutes we'll be putting our final one on. And the top three teams uh, cook one more time and compete, and whoever does the best out of that wins. The one category. Top of the cooker. And what happened again? He put the ribs on top of the cooker instead of inside the cooker. I guess it was just gonna magically cook the shit up. Last 10 minutes, we got a uh, full port finals coming around. We didn't get a box, so hopefully we're gonna be fourth. But uh, got them. Now we're uh, just turned in our rear, so we're waiting on that final box. If we get a final box in there, we'll be double finals. We'll be in the running. I'll be right. I'll be right. Yep. Oh, we first going in. We're gonna stay first coming out. Too. Good job, man. Well, there went all. Right. We uh, didn't get finals in ribs, so we got one final call. Stump, Mama Stump got two final calls, and Sweat got three. So it's going to be really tough to if we either we win it with Lauren or we probably ain't going to get reserved. So it's going to be tough. All right, we're getting in the money, folks. Third place, engine number two barbecue. Second place for Chloe. Switch for the game. And the number one team in Paul Chloe. Come on down, Sauce Tall Smoke Child. We did pretty good. We ended up winning first in Lauren with a uh, sixth place pulled pork and a seventh place rib. A little, a little disappointed in our rib and pulled pork, but you know, all in all, we're pretty happy with our cook. We always do good here, so as long as we keep getting a little money here, we'll keep coming back. Especially we got a good sponsor. <laughs> <laughs>